for everyone. I've got something quite cool to you in this video. Well, I think it's quite cool anyway. And that's this British clasp knife. Now, a bit of history behind this knife, this particular knife. This was my granddad's. And he he's 91 now. And from what he can remember, he got given this round about when he was 20. So it's over 70 years old, this knife. And he joined the RAF at around 20. That's where he reckoned he got this knife from. So I know in the army and the navy they issued knives like these. So I imagine it was the same in the RAF. I could be wrong, but that's where he reckons he got it from. But he did work on the railways as well. So he reckoned he could have maybe possibly got it then as well. But he was when I asked him about it, he reckoned it was more likely the RAF he got given this knife. So pretty old, about 70 years old this knife. It's got like the uh, black checkered handles, like a lot of the older ones do. Because you can still buy these class knives, a lot of them are made by Sheffield knives. But a lot of them don't seem to have this black checkered, checkered handles anymore. They're just like stainless steel or something. This knife as well is legal UK carry as well because the blade on it is under 3 inches and it's non-locking. So there's a look at the actual blade. Is that called like a sheep foot uh, blade shape? Not really got a point as such. I put a fresh, fresh edge on this knife so it's real sharp now. So you've got a blade which is under three inches. You've also got a tin opener and bottle opener. On the back there, you've got a marlin spike. Real nice point on that marlin spike as well. And then on the other side, you've got a flathead screwdriver. So like I said, this knife's probably around 70 years old and listen to how strong the snap on this Marlin Spike is. That's pretty impressive for a knife that old. Still so solid, like nothing on it at all. It's loose. The rivets are still really strong. So there's all your attachments. You've also got like, this metal keyring here. Pretty good condition as well for the age of it. So it makes quite a nice EDC knife. Nice size, you know, it fits in your pocket. You've pretty much got all the tools you would most likely need. A knife and a bottle opener, tin opener. I mean, Marlin spikes are always handy. What these are great for is if you have like a re, really, you have like a, a knot that's been pulled really tight, and you need to try and pry it loose. These are great for that because you can get it in like where the knot's tight. You know, real hard to do that with your fingers, but with a Marlin spike, it works really well for that. Flathead screwdriver as well, like I said. So there was a look at this real nice, genuine example of a British-made clasp knife. This is now my new EDC. You know, my granddad was kind enough to give it to me because he doesn't really need it anymore. And he's, he knows I'm into this sort of stuff, so he said I could use it. So you know, I'm going to take real good care of this, and never know, it might last us another seventy years if I'm lucky enough to live that long. But yeah, I thought some of you might find that interesting because they are really great knives, these class knives. And when they're made in Britain as well, it's nice to own one. And it's a legal EDC knife as well. So I hope you enjoyed that video, found it interesting, and cheers for watching.